Barbara Stavens and I'm going to teach you today how to make filio dough. So let's get started. I love my little baker's hat. I have to wear it just to keep, you know, hair out of my eyes and out of the food. Okay, so here we have six cups of all-purpose flour and we're going to put it right into the bowl. I have the juice of one lemon and I have one and a third cups of hot, the hottest tap water you can get. Pour that right in there. Maybe just put a little water in there and get all that good juice out. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little indentation here in the middle of the flour and we're going to pour the hot water. Okay, then I'm going to pour in two teaspoons of white vinegar and two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. Get that all in there. All right, we're going to mix that really good. As you can see, you just keep mixing. Now, this is the first time I've ever made it, so... This is going to be a real challenge for me, but I've wanted for a long time to make this dough because I like to make a lot of pastries and I uh, want to make a quiche, but I didn't want to really make the regular pie dough. I, I thought this would be really nice because it's going to be layered and when it bakes it, it um, flares up. So I thought that would be really nice. <clears throat> okay. And once it's all together there, we're going to put it out onto a floured board. There's plenty of flour left over there. Let's see if we get the rest of this off here. Okay, put that aside. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Now, this is nice and warm because the water was, was very, very hot. And you have to knead this here. It said for about a good five minutes until it's, you know, really pliable. But, you know, that's up to you. You, you have to decide by your own feel just, you know, how it feels to you. You don't want it to be sticky. And this this really isn't very sticky at all. Look at it. It's really absorbing all this, uh, all the flour, so it is pretty moist. Now, one thing about filio dough when you're making it is you can't use it right away. You have to, after you get done kneading it, um, we're going to put it in some plastic, and it goes in the refrigerator overnight. So this here is just part one of my filio dough episode. Okay. It's pretty, pretty good, actually. I think it's really... I worked it really well. It may not be all of five minutes, but, well, just keep going. It says you have to have at least a cup and a half to two cups of extra flour on your board. And I, I love, I love my top of my stove because, you know, I can sanitize it, bleach it, and run it down with some clear water, and, and uh, I use paper towels. <clears throat> to uh, get it all dried up and get the bleach residue off there too. You don't want your food tasting like bleach. So, But get it sanitized. You know, get it really clean before you start working on it. And now, I think my dough is really good. 
and uh, tomorrow I'm going to uh, set my roller up on my KitchenAid because that's what we're going to do. We're going to be using that. We're going to roll this out and then I'm going to make it in sheets. And, uh, okay. Step number one is done. Oh, dear. <laughs> Throw that back in there. Come on out. Bottom top. Good. There's the beautiful dough. Now you want to make sure you get it as airtight as possible. Okay. There it is. Now this is ready to go in the refrigerator. Okay, this is episode one, and thank you for watching. And, um... Be looking for my second episode. Thank you.